and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Caitlin I make videos on all things travel lifestyle and beauty today I'm going to be sharing my annual Christmas gift guide most of the gifts are geared for women but I do have some unisex ideas as well I also created this video in a blog post format which will be linked down below I've been really trying to get back on the grind with my blog not keeping up with Kate at wordpress.com and I decided that a blog style would probably also be pretty easy to um, follow along with and kind of um, see all of this in a little bit more detail. But let's go ahead and jump into this week's video. So my first gift idea is anything by Stony Clover Lane. If you're not familiar with Stony Clover Lane, they are a company that creates like little travel pouches, um, bags and they're all very personalized um, you can get your initials like sewn on in a little patch or you can get different words and phrases like travel or makeup onto the bags they're very cute very popular and i think they're a really nice gift but they are very pricey so i do have a dupe option as well i recently picked up this makeup bag at primark it's definitely in the likes of stony clover lane with a little initial and sort of this like patchwork style detail this is a pretty sizable makeup bag as well. Like you can see it fits a lot of things. So if Stony Clover Lane is a little bit out of your budget, I would suggest maybe picking up something like this or they also have kind of dupes at Target as well I've seen and maybe filling it up with the recipient's favorite items like some sheet masks, an eye cream, a lip balm, etc. I think this makes a really nice gift. My second gift idea is the Nordstrom Moonlight Eco Pajamas, and these are very high quality. I can personally attest to this. I have four pairs myself. Unfortunately, they're all in the wash, otherwise I would show you guys, but they're pretty affordable compared to some more higher end pajamas like the Ever J or Skims, um, but they're still very high quality. I am tall, I have very long arms and legs, and it's really important for me for my pajamas to be able to go in the dryer and not shrink. These do not shrink at all. They're very nice and lightweight. You don't get too hot. Um, I think they're just perfect for sleeping in. You don't have to think about, you know, matching your top and bottom. They just come in a set really nice. And I know recently um, they were, a couple of the colors were discounted uh, because they run about $75 and I think they were discounted to $45. That's typically when I pick them up for myself when they're on sale because I think that's a pretty good price point for such a high quality pair of pajamas. I would also say they run true to size. Some people said they run big, but then I was like reading some more threads and apparently they sort of changed the um, formulation of the pajamas and now I think they run more true to size. So I would advise not sizing up in them. Anything by Barefoot Dreams. This has been a huge hit in the past when I've gifted Barefoot Dreams to people. Um, I've gifted my mom some things from them as well as friends. Um, I think gifting the socks to friends is a great idea. Gifting the sweater, gifting the blanket. You know, they're just such soft items, really high quality, and everyone loves a cozy blanket or a sweater for the winter months. They also have ropes. Recently on Black Friday, I was at Nordstrom Rack in person, and we bought a Barefoot Dreams blanket for $45, which was an insane steal. I don't think they'll be reduced as much um, moving forward, but I know you can get some deals like at Nordstrom Rack or through QVC, so you're not paying full price for the items. Tickets to an experience. I suggested this in my gift guide last year, and I think this is a great idea for anyone. Tickets to a sporting event, comedy event, a Broadway show, a concert. Anyone will appreciate this. It's, you know, zero waste, zero clutter. Um, I think that's great if you want to give someone the experience of doing something, maybe a cooking class, you know, whatever they're interested in. Uh, for my boyfriend's birthday, I got him tickets to see John Mulaney. He's a comedian and my boyfriend loved that. Um, in the past, I've given my mom a gift, a gift certificate to Painting with a Twist, and we did that together, and it was really fun, so. I think experiences are a great way to go. Amazon has these cute little cocktail kits so you can make like a little margarita or an old-fashioned or a champagne cocktail, whatever the recipient's fancy is, and then pair it with a bottle of their favorite liquor, um, you know, a bottle of tequila with a margarita kit and gift that. I think that's a really nice gift as well. It's practical if they like, um, you know, to drink alcohol. Um, so again, I think that's a useful gift. It's not just going to be like sitting in a corner, um, going to waste. 
a copy of your favorite novel. If you know the person likes to read, I think this is a really fun gift idea because again, you and that person can talk about the story, um, but just make sure that it's in a genre that they enjoy reading. You know, if they don't like thrillers, don't get them a thriller. You know, if they only read romance, make sure you get them something in romance, but um, some suggestions. I have books that I've read that I enjoy, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I feel like that's a safe, lighthearted, fun book. The Wife Between Us, that's a good thriller recommendation. I have The Sanatorium was also a really good thriller that was super intense. And I'm currently reading The Nightingale, which is great if you love historical fiction. I think a Starbucks gift card and an anthropology mug makes the perfect gift if you don't know what to get someone, maybe your mother-in-law, maybe a teacher at school, maybe a friend that you're not super close with. Um, I just feel like everyone loves Starbucks. Typically people like either coffee or tea or like the little cake pops even. And anthropology has such cute Christmas mugs. Like I think I wanna buy one for myself. Very cute Christmas mugs. You can also do like one of their initial mugs and make it a little bit more personalized. Anything by the brand Nest, a Nest candle, a Nest diffuser, a Nest shower gel. I think Nest is such a luxury, um, you know, more high end brand. And this is actually on my Christmas wish list this year. I said that I wanted a Nest candle because I just feel like it's so luxe and it kind of like elevates your relaxation or self care game. And the scents are really powerful. I've purchased Nest products for my mom in the past. And I remember I was like storing them in my closet before her birthday. And whenever I would open my closet, I could just smell the candles, even though it was like packaged up in a box. So Nest is really high quality. And again, sometimes you can get them on sale at Nordstrom Rack, not always, but that is an option if you want to find something a little bit more affordable. A Stanley Tumblr. Yes, I did review this in detail and I'll leave the video linked here in case you're interested. I didn't like rave about this. I'm not as excited about this product as some other people are, but I do think it's like a solid gift idea, especially if you don't know what to get someone, you know, you don't have to guess their clothing size or, you know, what kind of makeup they like or anything like that. So it's pretty practical and it's a high quality tumbler, pretty aesthetic. Um, I feel like it is a good gift because I don't know that I would want to pay the $40 again to buy this for myself because... I think it is just a little pricey for what it does, but it makes a nice gift idea. You guys get what I'm saying. Finally, any of the Sephora holiday sets, they have so many great gift sets from Tarte, Rare Beauty, Sephora rounded up their own collection of uh, different products from a bunch of different brands. I think this is a great idea if maybe you're getting something for your girlfriend or your mom and you don't know much about makeup. These sets are very safe because they have a lot of neutral colors, colors that are flattering on everyone, and some of the top selling products at Sephora. So this is a really easy gift if you know someone likes makeup, but you don't know much about makeup yourself. So that wraps up my gift guide for 2022. Let me know what's on your Christmas wish list. Um, this year and I will say if you made it all the way to the end I am going to be doing a giveaway so to thank you guys for supporting my channel this year we are going to be giving away some products first I will go over the rules you must be a citizen of the United States at least 18 years old the giveaway will be open for one week from the date that this video goes live usually we do two weeks but one week just because of the holidays um, you must comment down below what you want for Christmas this year, what's on your wish list, um, and follow my Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube, and also follow my TikTok. Last time we had a problem with the winner of the giveaway, they would not accept my Instagram follow, and therefore I could not get their contact information. So if you want to be in um, this giveaway, make sure you accept my follow request. Um, I'm usually pretty lenient and keep it open like a little bit longer if you know, you can't get back to me in like 24 hours, but um, if you don't respond within like three business days, we're gonna have to move on to another winner. That's just the way it works. Also, if you're just commenting on this video and you don't wanna be entered into this giveaway for whatever reason, do a little asterisk, a star um, by your comment just so I know not to enter you. Anyway, this is what we're giving away. A Hydra setting spray. A mini bottle of the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream some lip balms by Burt's Bees, this little eyeshadow palette, and some holiday body washes um, and this little um, ornament thing. 
So that's what I'm giving away. I'll have all the details down below in the description box uh, to kind of recap everything. Best of luck. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.